Now stay tuned for PTG TV's Pulse on America, where we bring you the latest in educational, consumer, sports, and business information that's right for your lifestyle. Welcome to this edition of Pulse on America. I'm Wayne Stofsky. From Mexico's Isthmus of Tehuantepec to the Panama Canal, Central America is fast becoming a tourist hotspot and was recently featured in Condé Nast's hot list issue, particularly El Salvador. With its increasing popularity as a travel destination, Central America is also seeing a boom in luxury resort hotels. Here to tell us more is Ruben Rochi, El Salvador's Minister of Tourism. Mr. Rochi, welcome to the program. Thank you, Wayne. It's a pleasure to be here today. What can you tell us about the increase in tourism in El Salvador? Well, Wayne, as of 2005, El Salvador has had one of the strongest economies in Central America. This is partly due to an important increase in tourism as more people have come to realize all the amazing attractions we have to offer. For everyone watching us now, what would you tell them to convince them to visit El Salvador? Well, clean and beautiful beaches, significant archaeological sites, natural wonders such as our volcanoes and lakes, and a fascinating history and culture that we are eager to share with the rest of the world. Thank you, Mr. Rochi. The hotel industry in Central America has been booming with the growth of tourism in El Salvador. No one can appreciate that more than our next guest, Fernando Poma, Managing Director for Real Hotels and Resorts. Fernando, welcome to the program. Thanks, Wayne. It's great to be here. Let's start off with a brief history of Real Hotels. The history goes back quite a few years. That's correct. We built our first hotel back in 1971, which is currently known as the Real Intercontinental El Salvador. About 20 years passed before we began our Central American expansion and created our own hotel management company. We obtained an exclusivity agreement with Intercontinental Hotels for Central America and built the leading hotel in each key destination in the region. It's my understanding that you manage hotels for a variety of market segments. Is this correct? Yes, uh, we manage properties for most market segments uh, from select service hotels like Comfort Inns to five-star intercontinental hotels. We have designed and tailored our properties to fulfill the needs and expectations of a wide range of customers. From the moment you walk through the doors of a Real Hotel, the meticulous attention to detail is evident in everything from the luxurious lobby to the spacious rooms and guest suites. From amenities like state-of-the-art fitness centers to gourmet cuisine prepared by some of the world's top chefs, Real Hotels and Resorts take great pains in ensuring that their guests enjoy the finest experience possible. Now, with the boom in tourism in Central America, I imagine that the competition has to be stiff in your industry. How are the hotels managed by Real Hotels and Resorts different from those of your competitors? Well, we pride ourselves on being industry innovators. Uh, for example, we just launched a new value proposition called the Best Rest for all our intercontinental properties in which we have brought in the latest technology and trends in 45 different aspects of our guest rooms. Our primary objective is to guarantee the best rest through enhanced infrastructure, product, and service in our guest rooms where typically our guests spend approximately 90% of their time while lodging with us. Looking ahead, what is the primary goal of Real Hotels and Resorts for the next couple of years? Our hotel chain strives to continue developing new hotels with global standards that serve guests from all over the world. Guests who are eager to come to Central America and discover the hidden treasures that this region has to offer. Our expansion plans include Colombia and other parts of South America. Operationally, one of our primary goals is to maintain an active culture of innovation that permeates all levels of our organization. It all sounds very exciting. Fernando, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much, and it was a pleasure to be here. And if you'd like to learn more about Real Hotels and Resorts, you can visit their website at www.realhotelsandresorts.com. That's all for this edition of Pulse on America. Thanks for joining us. I'm Wayne Stofsky. Be sure to tune in at 24 or 54 minutes past the hour for more Pulse on America stories. Stay tuned. CNN Headline News is next.